Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another video. Uh, continuing with our Docker series, of course. As you probably already know, I love Sonoffs. And running them with Tasmoda firmware is awesome. They are the greatest thing to use uh, for switches and stuff like that. They're super cheap. But when it comes to managing them, it's kind of tough because you have to hit each of them individually to basically update firmware and make any changes like that. So today I'm going to show you a great application. Uh, that you can manage all of your Tasmodas from one spot. And on top of that, it will run in a Docker container. This is Tasmo Admin. It is a great web application that will allow you to manage all of your Sonoffs from one location. You can turn them on and off, you can update the MQTT, you can even update the firmware on all of them. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, so for starters, we're going to just create a Docker volume to store all of our uh, data for this particular Docker container. Next, we are ready to install Tasmo Admin in Docker. Uh, once that's done, we're going to do some configuration. And then lastly, I'm just going to show you how you can add Tasmo Admin into the Home Assistant menu for easy centralized access. So let's get started. Uh, so here we are at the command line. Uh, like I said, for starters, we're just going to create a volume to store all of our uh, container data for this particular Docker container. Uh, so we'll do this by doing a sudo docker volume create. And I'm just going to call mine tasmo admin underscore data. Once that's done, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so uh, we're ready to install Tasmo Admin. Of course, this uh, command is a little lengthy. I'll put it in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Uh, but we're going to start by doing a docker run d. I'm going to give it a name of Tasmo Admin. Obviously, you can call it whatever you want. We'll do a dash dash restart equals always. Now, by default, Tasmo Admin uh, uses port 80 for the port. I don't prefer to use port 80 for stuff unless I just have to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just set up a port forward here instead. So I'm going to do a dash P. I'm going to say 9999 colon 80 so basically that's the port I'm going to be using to access it and it'll automatically convert it to port 80 for me and here's where I'm going to call out my uh, docker volume that I created so we'll do a dash v tasbo admin underscore data colon slash data and then lastly we just need to call out the uh, docker hub raymond mm slash tasbo admin Hit enter. Once that's uh, done installing, let's move over to Portainer and just take a look at it, make sure everything looks like it's set up okay. Uh, so here we are in Portainer. Scroll over here and hit Tasbo Admin. As you can see, it's been running for about a minute. Everything looks good. It's uh, up and running, no issues. We are good to go. All right, so we're ready to access Tasmo Admin. All right, so in order to access Tasmo Admin, we do that by uh, hitting uh, port 9999. So we're going to go to 10.10.10.5. That's the IP of my Docker host, colon 9999 should come up with a login page. By default, the login for this is admin admin. Now, as you can see here, it, um, it currently doesn't have any devices in here because it hasn't have anything set up yet. So what we can do is you can add a device manually by putting the IP address or you can do an auto scan, which is what we're going to do. Basically, you put in an IP range that you want it to scan. So let's see here. I'll do 10.10.10.50. say 
10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 150 should cover most of mine I don't have passwords set up on them so we'll do scan and it'll take it a second to scan through all those we'll kind of fast forward through that alright so once the scan is finished as you can see here at the top devices found five so you can scroll down through here and look at them if you want you can see it's got their names the IP addresses so it's found all those you can say save all down here at the bottom hit back and there you are there's your list of all your Sonoffs that it's picked up shows you the version of firmware they're running how long they've been up uh, on the runtime there. Uh, if you click on any of those, it'll take you to their specific uh, web front end. So up here on the devices, you can go to update, and this is where you can put in all the update information for your server and the firmware, and it will push to all those devices. Here you can set a password for your login if you want. And then here is just a, more of a GUI front end instead of the list. You have them all shown out by icon, so you can decide which way you like better. You click on any of these, it will turn on or off. Alright, so just as an added bonus, we are going to add a panel iframe for Tasmo Admin so that it will show up in our side menu in Home Assistant. Just gives you more of a centralized location for all of your stuff, so you already spent a lot of time in Home Assistant. Now, if you want to manage your Sonoffs, you can just click on the side panel and you'll be able to access it that way. So we do this by editing our uh, panel iframe.yaml file. I'm just going to call it Tasmo Admin. For the title, again, I'm going to say Tasmo Admin. The URL, this will be the URL that we use to access it. So it'll be uh, the IP address of our Docker host. So HTTP colon slash slash 10.10.10.5 colon 9999. And as for the icon, you can add whatever you want. I'm going to throw in a home automation icon. So I'll say MDI colon home dash automation. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now we need to move over to Portainer and restart Home Assistant for those changes to take effect. So I'll uh, select my Home Assistant uh, container here, hit restart, and we will give that a second to come back up. All right, so here we are back in the web front end. And if I go up here and hit the little uh, three lines for the menu on the side over here at the top, we now have a selection for Tasmo Admin. So if we select that, bam, it shows our Tasmo Admin page inside of Home Assistant. We're still here, so we can go back to our main page of Home Assistant if we want. Pretty cool, guys. That's the end of the video. Like I said, I really like Tasmo Admin. I think it's great uh, as a way to be able to manage all of your uh, Tasmo to Sonoffs from one location. I love the fact that you can push updates to them uh, remotely all from that same spot without having to touch each one individually. If you want to update names or MQTT information, you can do that from within Tasmo Admin as well. Super awesome application there. So let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. Of course, we started by creating our uh, Docker volume so that we uh, could store all of our container data in there. Once we did that, we were ready to install Tasmo Admin in Docker. Once that was installed and ready, we, we went in and configured Tasmo Admin and showed you how to pull all those devices in. And then lastly, uh, we added a panel iframe to Home Assistant so that you can see it in that uh, Home Assistant menu on the side. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, 
hit me up in the comments below and as always if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there let me know in the comments as well and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys otherwise I'll see you guys around thanks